There is no higher calling than care and nothing more important than quality and service. And thanks to your example and leadership, we demonstrate those ideals every single day. Of course, we are not the first company to recognize the relationship between company and customer is built on a foundation of service. In 1912, when a Maine outdoorsman named Leon, Leon Wood B, started creating and selling comfortable rubber boots for hunting, he had one problem. The boots were falling apart. As a result, 90 out of the first 100 pairs he sold were sent back. Even though it nearly sank his new business, Leon, better known as LL, gave every unsatisfied customer a full refund. His philosophy of service was... <laughs> <laughs> All right, back to LL. So, the service was to treat your customers like human beings, and they will always come back. How we treat the people we serve is the foundation of any good business. That was true when LL Bean was founded, and it's true today. In fact, in the age of the internet, it has never been more true. 50 years ago, 20 years ago, even 10. A bad customer service experience meant you might lose a sale or lose an account. Maybe a customer would tell their family or their circle of friends. Today, the stakes are much higher. Our circles are more global. One bad experience can reverberate across the internet and around the world. And seeing as today is a celebration of service and of those who excel in serving others, I thought you might enjoy seeing the other side of the coin. So, one that got some attention recently was over Valentine's Day, when several pizza chains promised to deliver heart-shaped pizzas. The results were what the kids these days might call a fail. Oh. I won't name the names, but you know, <laughs> pizza. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that one looks terrible. <laughs> Can you imagine how disappointed you'd be to open that thing? <laughs> so, companies, they want their customers to feel like family. Customers get a little less happy when companies act like family. Like when the cable guy falls asleep on your couch. <laughs> so that one there, that's Time Warner. And here's Comcast. <laughs> but, but, to Comcast credit, maybe their representatives are just exhausted from providing such amazing levels of service. <laughs> like this guy. Tell me understand what you can just disconnect us. That's how you think. How is that helping you though? How because that's what I want. Like how that's, helping that's what I want. Okay, so why is that what you want? <laughs> <laughs> what is it that makes you want to change that? Because that's what we want to do. And why is that what you want to do? That's none of your business. Your business is to disconnect us. As, as, as a company that is that is a cable and internet provider primarily, okay, so that is our business. To you know why our customers are leaving. <laughs> Just trying to cancel my cable. <laughs> so some companies like Walmart think that customer service means customer empowerment. I don't know about you, but I feel like this guy who takes over the Walmart loudspeaker may have taken the empowerment thing just a little too far. Customer needs to be to be staying here for about 15 minutes. At least three Walmart employees have walked by and looked at him and just kept on walking. And he's already talked to one of the fellows. Not every company places customer service at a premium like we do. Ex 